Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pick a card reading is all about who will you marry. So we're going to see details about your future spouse, such as their initials, their star sign, a number that might resonate and be relevant to this connection. We're going to take a look at details about their personality, about how this relationship and the marriage is going to feel like. So make sure to stick until the very end of your reading to get all the details. There are three piles for you to choose from. This is pile number one with the Rose Quartz Crystal. This is pile number two with the Clear Quartz Crystal. And pile number three with the Amethyst Crystal. Make sure you choose based on to your intuition the pile that resonates the most with you. You can take a bit more time to meditate over the piles if you need to. And after done choosing, you can skip ahead straight to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to give this video a like and also to subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using in today's reading, you can check them out by clicking on the timestamps down below. I'm going to have all of them linked down below in the description box. And with that being said, I'll see you on your reading. Hi, my dear pal number one. Welcome to your reading. For those of you that chose the Rose Quartz Crystal, I'm going to put your crystal here. And let's start with the first card that you were drawn to and see details about their energy about this person that you're gonna marry um their personality uh, and of your future spouse so you were drawn to the jug card it it says light-hearted and carefree time so i feel like for you pal number one this is a very beautiful and positive message straight away which is says that this person that you're gonna marry is going to make you feel like you won't you won't have to worry you're you're not going to feel frowned and uh intention um like feeling really tension and, and stressed with them i feel like with this person you're actually going to have your energy um and your vibration um high up and you're going to have a lot of fun um I feel like this person will be very like good at entertaining you and making you laugh and smile and uh, have a really good sense of humor, um, like similar to your sense of humor. And both of you will have a lot of fun together. You're really gonna love spending time, um, as much time as possible together. You're really not going to feel bored. It's gonna feel like you're with your best friend, not necessarily just your spouse, but also your best friend. Um, and together we will really have a lot of fun and. I also am getting this message that it doesn't matter, like obviously each relationship, each couple goes through some challenges throughout their journey, but I feel like with this person, um, you're really going to, they're really going to take your stress away or you're not going to feel that weight on your shoulder that much because they have this thing about them where they can um, lighten a situation, they can make a situation um, like feel less tense or stressed by a joke they might say or something that they would do in order to really make you forget about the troubles and the challenges um and i feel like this is what this lighthearted energy carefree time is about like you're really going to um have together as a couple like a lot of time where you enjoy life uh it's not only going to be about work 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 and responsibilities with this person with this spouse you're really gonna feel like uh, life's chores uh, like everyday chores um or responsibilities are made but with a bit of fun right with a bit of um jokes and smiles and um like uh, really hang hanging out together like best friends and having a great time okay i'm just really picturing you two like ba uh, having a banter you two uh, joking around uh, teasing each other or like um doing things that are fun like passions and hobbies together going out on dates uh not forgetting that life is also about enjoying the small things all right now let's see your tarot cards we're gonna take a look first at their personality and uh, you know messages about them and their energy and about who they are as a person okay 
So we have the Ten of Cups. We also have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands and the Chariot. All right. Let me push this a bit further so you can fit. All right. So pile number one, I feel like your future spouse, the person that you're going to marry is someone that you're really going to feel uh, happy with. Um, we have here this 10 of uh, cups which shows accomplishment so this person um i feel like they they will have everything that you look into a partner uh into a spouse um and this is just a very positive person also someone that loves to keep busy someone that um uh, loves to have lots of projects going on or like have uh also hobbies yeah and they have many passions and hobbies and they uh really uh have like a fire to to do these passions like this person um is always going to practice those hobbies uh it as i said it's not only about work with this person uh they are that type that they know how to have fun as well and how to enjoy uh life in their in their hobbies here with this eight of wands i feel like um you're never gonna get bored with this person that's for sure and things will always feel um like on a fast pace i feel like w especially with how your relationship is going to evolve um things are going to move forward really fast with these eight of wands and there's going to be lots of interactions between you and this person also another thing that i uh get from these cards is that um there's a high chance for uh the majority of you or uh, watching this reading that this person that you're gonna marry is uh someone that you will have a long distance relationship for a while or someone that is from a like more far away place and you're gonna be in contact um like online or just long distance type of connection for a while with this eight of wands because sometimes this can also signify that and there's a lot of back and forth you know, interactions and messages um and communication and you're really going to, like as soon as you're going to meet and you're going to get to know each other you're really going to be eager to talk all the time to spend as much time as possible to always be in touch with each other and both of you will feel so attracted so drawn to each other instantly and there's going to be that chemistry and both of you will just want to always keep in touch like always messaging uh, always talking on the phone like throughout the day and there's going to be that urge to like be with one another or communicate with one another in one way or another okay um and there, i see a lot of attraction i see a lot of passion so this person is really passionate this person has that um like fiery personality not only in their hobbies and in their life like they go through life and they love doing things with a lot of passion they pour all their heart in the things that they're interested in in their projects in their work um maybe they're working in an area that they're really passionate about um and as i said they have many hobbies and they do practice those like anything that's like it doesn't matter like if it's sports if it's creative um like art or whatever they are like putting a lot of passion but also in their relationships yeah like in this connection in this marriage i feel like you're you're going to genuinely feel how attracted they are to you there's going to be a lot of intimate um like interactions between the two of you this person will show you how um much they are drawn to you and they find you irresistible okay and you're going to feel loved you're going to feel desired you're going to feel really really um like good and see how this person is so attracted to you and i feel also it's like obviously for the both of you um it's going to be that huge attraction but i'm just concentrating on this person's um energy okay right now um and i do sense that they're just this happy positive person usually and uh they have this light-hearted yeah like energy about them that everyone seems to really feel uh good with them and people obviously like um gravitate towards them because they just have this high vibe type of personality where they don't really go around uh, frowned or with a stressed uh intense like body language or even like 
way of of talking way of being they are more like chill they are taking things more lightheartedly and they don't stress they don't overthink i feel like they are they are blessed with this just positive uh way where they are optimistic they see things usually in a bright side they always look at the or like the majority of time they look at the fuller side of the glass right and um I see that they are happy with who they are. They are in a good place mentally, and uh, they feel like they feel whole. They feel accomplished. Um, so I don't see like frustration. I don't see like stress. I see quite the opposite, like a lot of positivity. Um, I see that they're very determined, very hardworking person, and decide. So once they put their mind onto something, they are just. 100% going after it and doing that thing they won't stop until they achieve it so they have a great willpower and determination here with the chariot another message that's coming through which is really uh, strongly re related with the one that this person might be from far away or a long distance relationship is with the chariot this usually signifies traveling like physically traveling so again i feel like it's quite strong the message that um you're going to have this uh, future spouse from a more far away place and you're going to be a bit like in a long distance relationship um before obviously like moving in together um and this person will probably have to travel to come and visit you and see you um okay and with the four of pentacles i do see that this person is really good with money um they've accumulated quite a bit of wealth or they are in a good position financially at least um they are really good at savings and maybe in like investing or like having assets right but this person has good stable financial situation and they are they are they can be sometimes like um like a bit too controlling with how they are spending the money they're not a person that goes around and just uh like spends all their money on just anything that like impulsively no this person th thinks a lot before making a purchase or before um like investing into something so they're a bit like you know with, when it comes to money they really like to uh rather save than spend and they prefer to have like they, they value stability and for them money is like a really big thing okay now let's take a look at um how this marriage is going to feel like between the two of you pal number one okay so we have the four of cups we also have ace of cups okay We have the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Wow, so panel number one, I feel like with this person, you know, um, maybe because it's going to be a long distance relationship, I feel like panel number one, you probably will try to resist. Um, yeah, like this connection, or you're probably gonna think that you know i've got better things to focus on or maybe i should focus on other things when this person is going to come into your life um because i see here with the four of cups that this person will offer you like will come with this offer of like i am into you i like you i want to be uh with you maybe they're going to uh propose to you very soon and because as, as i said things are going to move really fast with this eight of wands and there's going to be instant attraction and passion and this person is really passionate in general and they tend to uh like when it comes to their feelings they're going to really act on them and they're not going to waste any minute and i feel like also with the ten of cups it's in their dream to get married and start a family because this is a card of family and um like building a life with someone so this is something that they're going to be really uh moving fast with so maybe they're going to propose to you really fast because they just got this carefree energy and they're like ah, i'm not gonna think about what's gonna happen like i'm just going to do what i feel and maybe for some of you it's going to be way too fast or way too quickly or maybe this long distance thing will come as um a thing that you want to look f uh, to think about first and i feel like they're going to offer you their their this opportunity this um offer of love and you're gonna be like 
oh wait a man a minute i'm like focusing on other things or i have other aspects not right now i don't want to get married just yet or um maybe it's going to be a bit too fast maybe i want to still get to know you better um i feel like it is going to be that type of energy uh but i do see that you know eventually this person will stick to their offer and they will pursue you and they they will stay strong with their offer of love they will wait for you and they will be there to offer you their love no matter what whenever you're ready and once you're gonna accept this person's offer i see that your marriage is going to feel really really good and positive i see here a lot of positive cards so you're gonna feel like you're having a relationship or a marriage with a very mature person you're going to feel very protected. You're going to feel like this marriage has a very strong foundation that you you feel secure in the marriage. You feel safe. You feel protected and loved and taken care of. And again, the passion is going to be there. I see here with a lot of red. Um, so yeah, I, I sense that the, the marriage and the relationship between the two of you is going to feel really mature and, and healthy and um overall i see accomplishment see like the, the nine of cups is like really showing um accomplishment and feeling fulfilled and having everything that you need it, like all your wants and needs met so this person will offer you their all and you're gonna feel super accomplished and happy within the marriage i feel like both emotionally financially yeah like on all aspects because this shows like full on accomplishment and fulfillment and you're definitely going to feel loved by this person pal number one okay with the ace of cups i see overflowing abundant love um they're going to be very affectionate with you you're going to feel uh spoiled with love with affection with romantic gestures so this person is a really really sweet and romantic person i sense all right now let's take a look at your oracles now and see more details about about this marriage about this person okay we have serendipity Ooh, i love this card so what serendipity means is like being the right person at the right time or um, attracting what's meant for you so i feel like with this person yeah like this is meant to happen and this is something that um is going to happen at the right time yeah uh even though things are gonna seem fast or you're going to maybe think a bit in the beginning i feel like overall this connection with this person yeah like the marriage itself is gonna feel like wow it was actually meant to happen i'm with this person and like the universe brought what i wanted in in a person because as i said th this is someone that you're going to feel like okay this this person has everything that i want in a partner in a spouse okay because that's why i feel like you're even going to accept their offer anyway because there's going to be that attraction in that sense that you two are like meant to be yeah, with the serendipity and i do see like a lot of accomplishment and love and positivity afterwards which obviously is really beautiful so it's going to be all worth it <laughs> okay we have emotion so as i said this person is very sweet very gentle they are very good with emotions uh, and understanding them their emotions and talking about like their emotions yeah be open um emotionally and talk yeah like being vulnerable and addressing their feelings i see a lot of communication as i said and yeah i do see that there's going to be a lot of emotion involved within this connection so both of you will be super invested within the marriage and like be affectionate and loving with each other let's see what else we have okay so we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond depends as i say like with emotions uh both of you will be open emotionally to each other you're going to talk about your most vulnerable things and open up like really really open up to each other and as you're gonna get to know each other your bond is gonna get deeper and stronger and yeah you're going to really feel a, uh, having a strong bond with one another okay and 
the other two cards that flipped or like jumped out of the deck is separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so this is another confirmation of the the message that i was seeing earlier which was saying that this is going to be a long distance relationship in the beginning um so this person is you and this person will have a bit of separation or maybe for some of you it's going to resonate that way uh, this person has to travel sometimes for work and there's going to be times of separation physically from one another okay in, uh, within the marriage and we also have past life relationship you have known each other before and i love that we have the serendipity so this is something that's meant to happen you're meant to meet you're meant to uh, marry this person pal number one this is a past life relationship it's a soulmate connection it's something that it's definitely meaningful and powerful and you're meant with, to marry this person to be with this person pal number one this is a very strong and beautiful message okay let's see what else we have we have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun all right so i feel like maybe um this four of cups is related with this card because maybe you're gonna feel like um you know i want to just have time with my friends and like uh maybe you just um you you will go recently out of a relationship when you're gonna meet this person when you're gonna start talking to this person you're probably gonna feel like oh but i'm happily single i'm um i'm just i want to live in the moment i want to have fun i don't want to sell settle down yet so maybe this is going to be your um like a mentality in that time and maybe this is why you're going to feel like not accepting their proposal or whatever their offer okay but yeah i mean the the love is so strong and the attraction is going to be so strong and once you're gonna get to know this person you're gonna talk more your bond is gonna get deeper and i feel like you're really going to give in to your feelings with this person all right and now let's see their star sign and a number that might resonate with this connection for pound number one so we've got sagittarius as their star sign and we also got number six okay for you and last but not least let's see some initials for the person that you're gonna marry pal one okay all right so we have N, we have I, oops, we have double I, wow, we have three times I, so it's really strongly represented. We have K, we have A, A is twice, V, R, E. Oops. We have another E. L. We have an X. And we have a B. All right. So this is all I have for you, my dear pal number one. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next reading. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Hi, my dear pal number two. Welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the clear quartz crystal. So let's see who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? Pal number two. So I'm going to start off with the card that you were drawn to, which is harp. Ooh, so peaceful. Yeah, like harps make really peaceful music and we have great happiness. So this card is giving me really positive energies. So I feel like with this person, obviously we have here literally will come great happiness. So within the marriage, you're going to feel great happiness. Um, your marriage will be filled with joy, with uh, success, with abundance and just great, great happiness. Okay, panel number two and as i said in the beginning i felt called to say that the harp has very positive and soft music um that is really sensitive and and really um, emotional music can come from the harp so i feel like with this person um there's going to be lots of 
um, moments where you can talk really, really vulnerable, uh, vulnerably. Okay, I don't even know if that's a word, but like you're gonna talk about your feelings, and you're gonna feel that this is such a soft. Um, gentle soul um, I feel like they're very sensitive and they have a power of like feeling really deeply okay and I feel like they get attached really really strong to their partner to the people that they love um, and they have a, a kind soft gentle soul okay and this person is like has a genuine good heart this is what I'm feeling okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards now and first let's see their personality information about their energy details about them okay wow we had the ten of cups in pile number one maybe you were drawn to pile one um okay we have the four of wands i love this we have the hermit and the four of pentacles okay Oops, okay, so pal number two. Wow, I love the cards that you have. So I feel like this person that you will marry, you know, it's again portrayed here with these two first cards. Like it's clarified once again that this marriage will come with great happiness. I see a lot of joy. I see a lot of abundance and positivity and accomplishments, okay, with this person. Um so what with the four of wands in the ten of cups i do feel like this is someone that um it, it really they really love the the idea of marriage they really love the idea of building a life together building a, a home okay we have the four pylons which can represent a home um they love building a family together yeah we have here on the ten of cups the family the happy family um there's this person is also I feel like really like loving parties and loving to to like go to celebrations and have fun at parties they love um like having fun right and going to events um here with these four of wands um also i sense that they're very close to their friends and family they don't have many friends but they have uh, a bunch that they really really are, are connected with and they keep them close to their hearts they, that is their support system that those are the people that they they are going to keep in their heart no matter what so i feel like they're really close uh with like some friends like just a small group of friends and family members okay and they keep in touch um a lot they can be, they love to keep in contact and maybe they're uh they love being part of a community okay um wow maybe this person uh just recently got a promotion or this person um got like graduated from a university okay this also gives me that um energy okay um and also i sense that they feel fulfilled so with obviously a promotion and a graduation comes that feeling this person feels um like they have their life put together and i feel like they are in a good place um where they're doing maybe something that they love they are uh, they feel like they're on the right path and overall i see like this is generally a good person that it, it really cares about like not making other people upset they don't like confrontations they don't like uh tension right like they they are searching to really keep a positive and peaceful life they really value that i sense um it might stem from their sensitivity as well but they just want a beautiful peaceful life this is all they want they want to stay out of drama okay that's why they maybe even have less friends they decide to have less people that they uh like hang out with but those are like quality ones okay and i feel like they're an optimistic this is someone that like sees, sees the good in everything here with the ten of cups okay and they they are walking through life 
with a full heart they're like i'm happy with who i am i'm happy with uh, where i'm at um like being very grateful i feel like this is a person that is really grateful for what they have um and they're like modest in in really nice person as i said i i just sense this positivity this sweet and gentle uh energy okay and they are hard working okay here with the eight of pentacles they uh put a lot of effort in their projects in their maybe job or career right um maybe they're having a side hustle as well like trying to build a business they're working on something um and they've got a lot of accomplishments so maybe yeah like in their studies or in throughout their life in their work um i feel like they already achieved quite a lot so they are that sort of person that works hard they keep um their eyes focused on their goals and they really want to stay out of drama okay they just mind their own business working um maybe literally maybe just as metaphorically speaking like minding their own business and like focusing on their work and they put 100 percent in what they're doing and i feel like also when it comes to relationships yeah this is an indicator that uh your future spouse will like put effort and energy into making the marriage smooth into sol solving like um, arguments or like misunderstandings um this is a person that like fixes rather than throwing away um they are getting attached really strongly yeah, when they when they love someone and they want to keep that person in their life there um you're gonna see that this person is not um letting you do all the work they're gonna help you i feel like even in the material like chores yeah like everyday chores around the house i feel like this person is just um hard working and they are not running away from work they they are going to help you with anything that you need and i feel like even in your communication in your uh like sorting just challenges and arguments within the connection within the marriage i feel like they are going to be like solution oriented and they're going to be like look uh panel number two let's talk about it let's find a way to understand each other let's work on this um i feel like also they are going by putting effort i feel like they're always going to try to make active gestures to show you their love to show you that you uh can count on them also like they're trustworthy in that you can rely on them uh here with the pentacles i'm getting strong message that this person will you you're gonna feel like they are focusing on the connection they're loyal they're trustworthy and reliable and you can really count on them um and yeah they are going to like maybe cr create and find ways to to really make sure that the connection stays alive like uh they're not going to let things um like time or you know like okay let's just see where things are gonna go and not actively trying to make the connection um in the sparkles alive like they're gonna make sure you 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 go on dates they're going to make sure they f find the time to listen to you to uh meet your wants and needs to make sure that they speak your love language that's another strong message like they're going to like actively be trying to make sure you are loved and you're supported okay and with the hermit i feel like um this person is more of an introvert this person really values their alone time and they need some alone time from um like time to time <laughs> okay they need to spend some solo time and uh gather their, their thoughts this is how they recharge this is how they um like rejuvenate okay um that's why maybe i feel like they even don't like spending time with many friends or they do like parties they do like having fun but i feel like at the end of each day they do need a bunch of hours or like time to recharge or a day after to uh recharge their introvert side right and i feel like they do love people they love communication they love socializing 
they love connecting with people but I, at the end of the day I feel like it's really important for them to um, focus on their on themselves and, and like they have a very vivid inner world okay um and they do need time to just do introspection spend their time uh, gathering their thoughts uh focusing and processing their emotions processing whatever happened uh like this person i feel like can get overly stimulated by being around too many people like for extended times they do need time alone okay with the hermit here okay now let's take a look at how the marriage is going to feel like for your pal number two. Oh, we have the empress i love it and we also have the hanged man okay we have the two of pentacles okay wow we have quite many cards that decided to flip we have six of pentacles we have the queen of pentacles and the two of wands so i'm going to try to put them like this so they're gonna fit into the frame all right i think that's okay so panel number two the way this connection the relationship and the marriage is going to feel like um, wow, I see the Empress. So the, the Empress is all about abundance, fertility. So if you want children and um, I feel like this person also wants children as well. I feel like you're going to create a beautiful family. I see um, like abundance and it can, can be also emotionally, financially. Um, I see that both of you will feel like you're being taken care of of one another you can really support each other and be there uh, for one another um the empress is like that motherly figure that mother energy so i feel i feel that you too will um feel blessed to be in in a marriage with someone that truly cares about each other yeah like uh you you're going to feel pal too blessed to have this person and i feel like they're going to be grateful for having you okay and there's going to be overall like really positive um like communication and dynamic within the marriage um as it said in the beginning it says great happiness so abundance um nourishing energy you're going to feel nourished within the connection you know i get this strong message pal too that your marriage will be that safe safe place um like your home and your marriage will be literally that place where you recharge where you nourish yourself that place of care and regeneration where you gather all your power where you gather all your positivity and um like everything you need in order to take on the world okay um and I do sense that this connection will be a bit different maybe from what you you expected or what you were thinking that marriage is going to be like. Uh, maybe you have a different picture or you, you come from a background where you, you picture marriages a certain way. But I feel like um, with this person, you're going to really have your eyes open or you're going to be uh, presented different perspectives of how love can feel of how uh, marriages should look like or how marriages can look like right um and i feel like it's an enlightenment yeah it's a positive different perspective okay it's something that is going to bring a lot of peace a lot of happiness and enlightenment so it's a positive perspective is just different um or unique you two are going to have a unique connection and i feel like this marriage is going to be eye-opening mind-opening expanding yourself um, maybe you're going to learn a lot about yourself or um, learn about the world the like interactions between people and about between two people that they love each other and i feel like you're just going to grow a lot um within this journey like this is um what i'm picking up i see again um like stability i see security i see 
com- accomplishment and feeling like your wants and needs are being met uh again it's really interesting that we have it like in this position under the eight of pentacles so this is a card that shows 50 50 um like energy put into the connection both of you will be equally involved and equally and actively yeah like uh, invested in the in the connection in the marriage and making sure that both of you feel love both of you f- uh, talk on the other person's love language and you care about uh how the other person feel loved and feels like uh, the other person pays attention to them and to their wants and needs so this is a card of 50 50 both of you will yeah like meet in the middle okay and this is a really beautiful and healthy aspect of this marriage uh i see a lot of busy energy here with the two of pentacles um there's going to be uh maybe many projects to juggle yeah at times but i feel like are going to be opportunities that are going to bring in uh substantial like financial abundance but i feel like opportunities are going to come flowing for you and your spouse um and sometimes yeah i feel like you're gonna feel a bit like okay there's a lot we juggle at once um but yeah it's, i feel it's going to be work related or maybe you're gonna have like certain responsibilities as well um alongside your work but i do see a financial abundance coming and we also with the empress uh, abundance as well so i feel like both of you will have er- everything that you want to live comfortably you you're going to build that financial abundance that home uh that family that is really going to be uh that place of security that place where you recharge but also where you feel like you have everything that you you need to live comfortably and not worry about finances pentacles also signify long-term commitment um security stability within the connection so you're going to be sure of the marriage the, of the connection you're um simply going to feel happy about number two okay like this person will make everything in their power to to make sure you feel loved and appreciated and valued and i feel you're going to do the same for them so i see very balanced abundance positivity energy um and with the two of wands i see maybe you're gonna make plans of traveling maybe you're gonna travel the world together uh quite a lot once you get married uh or maybe you're going to plan on moving uh abroad yeah and start your family somewhere else okay now let's see your oracle cards pal number two let's see what else we have we have there and oh, sorry here and now so yeah this is a energy of present moment of being present of enjoying the moment um so because this marriage is gonna feel so positive i feel like both of you uh will be really present uh with one another both of you will make active uh effort to to listen to the other person to be present with the other person to spend quality time with the other person so you're going to focus a lot on the present moment on the here and now um like i mean with one another right like once it's about you two time to spend like together couple time i feel like that's going to be a priority okay because i feel like that's going to be a rule within the marriage like not like rule actually but obviously like metaphorically but i feel like making time and in, in, in space for each other will be detrimental and something you're gonna focus on we have clarity so as i said panel number two with this con- uh, marriage and connection i feel like there's gonna be a lot of clarity eye-opening perspectives coming in uh, a lot of enlightenment yeah like mental clarity um learning more about yourself about connections maybe about like having beautiful creative unique ideas about how to make money and like how to start like a certain business or business ideas yeah clarity within that space as well 
maybe you're going to have like two options yeah like opportunities of business to to juggle between or to choose from and yeah you, both of you will definitely bring that clarity within one another and i feel like you, you're you're gonna discuss like money a lot i feel like maybe you're gonna have a business together um and yeah with one another you're going to really present uh, new perspectives because maybe you're going to be a bit different uh, in your mentality in certain aspects but I feel like that's going to only work for you instead of against like you will learn how to work those differences in order to complement each other and create something better okay and bring new perspectives with one another okay let's see you deserve love you are lovable so you you're going to feel pal number two like you you are lovable you deserve all the love you're going to feel secure in this marriage in the love um you know I'm, I'm getting that feeling that warm beautiful feeling that you're gonna feel like attractive you're gonna feel beautiful you're gonna feel like um you deserve this all this love you're gonna feel grateful but also secure within yourself and confident um and i feel like that's what a healthy love and a healthy marriage does to you i mean obviously that's a thing that we should all know that we are lovable but i feel like sometimes we we lack on that mindset or sometimes it's hard for us to to feel that but within this marriage pal two you will feel deserve this like you deserve all the love that um you deserve all the good things that are happening to you and you're, you're going to feel grateful and this person will make sure that you do know that you're livable <laughs> okay whoa sorry but my card decided to jump right on the floor and we have i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirt uh, fun flirting want to date so wow yeah i feel like this person um will like you right from the start or like you're gonna like each other right from the start and i feel like they are going to be the one that i'm gonna confess to you so this is quite like an obvious one like you're gonna like each other um romance is going to just bloom into this beautiful love uh both of you will be flirty with one another you will go on dates you will get to know each other and you're just gonna fall in love with one another i feel like this is like a quite obvious one but yeah it's like what what is normally happening within a connection when love is beautiful and healthy and things move forward like naturally i feel like things will flow between the two of you so effortlessly okay that's another message um let's see now their star sign in a number that might be relevant for you pal two we have number three okay and we have libra energy okay so again well balanced um energies like the things and and like the connection will be really uh, well balanced and there's going to be equilibrated uh here with the six of pentacles we have actually uh like a scale which can which is obviously like the libra's symbol so yeah it's going to really feel 50 50 is going to feel like um or like 100 percent, 100 percent, right you get what i mean like both of you will be equally invested and both of you will feel fulfilled and happy and loved now last but not least let's see some initials for you pal number two who will you marry okay let's start we have i we have r T. We have O. I once again. W. A. J. S. 
Yes, again, so stronger represented. Oops, we have O again. R, R is twice as well. Wow, there are so many that repeat. We have U, N, C. Oh, why is not focusing? And Y. All right, so pile number two, this is all I have for you. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hi, my dear pile number three. Welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the Amethyst Crystal. So let's take a look at who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? Let's start with the card that you were drawn to, which is the camel card. And it says persevere and you will overcome problems. So I feel like this person is someone that doesn't give up easily, a hardworking person, right? A perseverant person, as we have here written in the card. And I feel like this person that you will marry won't leave you to deal alone with the problems, won't... Um, like run away from challenges and problems but actually get invested actively in sol solving those issues um i feel like they're very responsible they have a, a very high sense of responsibility and maturity obviously that comes with it um and they have a great willpower and determination um so i feel like they're persevering in any aspects of their life okay and i do sense like with the camel like maybe things will move maybe slowly um but i feel like this connection will be for a lifetime okay pal number three i feel like for you this marriage will be for a lifetime and you will go through life through thick and thin together um and you're gonna be stay by each other's side all right and you're gonna help each other and support each other and be there for each other in any moment okay throughout this journey this is very beautiful okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see information about their energy about their personality okay we have the queen of pentacles let's see what else we have who is this person that pile number three is gonna marry okay another pentacles makes a lot of sense since we have perseverance i thought there are like two cards but it's just one <laughs> nine of pentacles yeah so yeah as i said like makes a lot of sense that we have the pentacles because we have perseverance we have um long-term commitment energy we have the two of swords and let's see one more card okay the emperor all right so my dear pal number three i feel like your future spouse yeah the person that you're gonna marry um is definitely a very mature person with the emperor and the queen of pentacles but more so the emperor i feel like this person might be a bit older in age yeah for some of you it's gonna resonate that way or the, at least this person just has a lot of life experience okay they they went through many uh, maybe situations or challenges that sh shape them and they and help them gain more perspective more um experience more knowledge i feel like this person is really wise um they have maybe a lot of experience in their work okay and uh they have a lot of expertise yeah a lot of knowledge um i feel like they have authority i see an authoritative person uh someone people look up to and admire so uh could be that this uh person that you're gonna marry is owning their own business or like working in a position that's a bit higher up in like managing other people or guiding other people yeah the emperor is a is a good guide is a person that has a lot to learn uh, to teach yeah other people people have a lot to learn from them um because of their experience because of their knowledge their uh expertise and yeah i do sense that they have a good leadership uh skill yeah like skills um so yeah they're also very protective that's like the fatherly figure yeah the emperor is like the fatherly energy in the tarot so um they are very protective and they have this 
uh, thing where they are good at um, teaching and, and guiding, and they they love to share their uh, experience and their uh, their knowledge with other people. So maybe they uh, carry out like meetings or they they have a side hustle or like some sort of project where they are um, sharing with a lot of people what they know, their wisdom and their expertise. Um, yeah, I feel like also this person is really good uh, financially speaking. Um, here with these two cards, the nine of pentacles especially, it shows uh, a place of abundance, a place of security and stability. Um, and feeling like fulfilled, feeling also that um you you achieved a lot and you're and you're also uh, learning or knowing how to relax and enjoy life as well so this person is not only working hard but also knows how to take care of themselves how to practice self-love self-respect they have strong boundaries um they know their worth they have great confidence here with the emperor um and they do know when to take time and relax and actually enjoy and reap the benefits of that hard work okay and there are many okay the benefits are many like i feel like this person um definitely has a stable comfortable financial situation um i see a lot of abundance also i'm getting that this person is like stands by their word okay this is another message that's coming through this person is responsible and also like they stand by their words um you can count in and and like rely on this person um they also value like security and commitment in people and they love that people when they say something to do that um and, and stand by their words so it's something that they have i feel integrity within this person um and yeah they have a lot of accomplishments that's for sure throughout their life as i said they're they have a lot of experience um and they're in a position where they are really really good they feel uh confident they feel like they went where they they would love to be okay they reach a place where they're happy um and they are also they know how to be grateful and enjoy where they've reached okay not only just looking ahead on the next best thing they know when to take time and look around and say like wow i'm i'm so grateful and happy for everything i've achieved and actually get to enjoy yeah um those things uh with the queen of pentacles i also sense that they're very generous okay really really generous person um and again that energy of commitment and stability um so i feel like in connections it really makes sense as i said in the beginning that we have the camel the perseverance yeah and this person is like with me we're gonna go through through all this journey together uh you can count on me i would love to count on you and just support each other through thick and thin um and that's what i mean when i say this person like values commitment and security um, I sense that they are looking for something long term, obviously, like um, I feel like they're in a position where, the, where they really would like to have a lifetime connection, marriage, relationship, whatever. Um, so with your pal number three, I feel like you're going to marry this person and that's it, right? Yeah, like you're going to be with this person and uh, this is going to be like a marriage that lasts forever, which is really beautiful. Or at least this person is definitely going to make sure they, they do their best to um, keep this marriage like flowing. Um, yeah, I see a lot of generosity. So maybe this person might be involved in charity. Maybe this person is uh, doing like as I said, certain projects where they love helping other people it could be like generous with their advice, with sharing their experience. Um, I, as I said, I see that fatherly energy. Uh, it doesn't matter the gender. I'm just talking like in their energy, a masculine energy a lot, which is all about action, about like taking initiative. Um, yeah, being take like being in charge. Okay, and with the two of swords, 
um i left it at the end but i feel like with this um this person feels a bit guarded okay so i feel like they're more restrict uh, restrictive or like restrained yeah i feel like restrained is the right word okay when it comes to new people uh they tend to open up slower remember how i say that things might move a bit slowly uh slowly but this is a person that once they're with you they're for uh like forever so i feel like they are just that type that takes a bit more time to open up they are a bit more guarded a bit more res uh, restrained yeah um reserved okay that's actually the word i was looking for a bit more reserved um but yeah overall once you get to this person's heart <laughs> you're like it's like forever okay this person is in uh, for it uh for the long term okay um now let's take a look at how is this marriage going to feel like for you pal number three like how is the connection between the two going to be i'm sorry if i cut the video but i had the world card jumping and i need to cover it so i'll keep going and put it on the camera later on okay we have also the five of swords we have the eight of swords and the world as i said so i'm just gonna put like this i'm gonna start with the world actually because it was the first card okay and i need just one more card okay wow the six of wands decided to flip right so my dear pal number three wow hmm this is really interesting so i do sense that with this marriage um a whole new chapter will begin and i feel like maybe you will be recently got out of a relationship or a marriage or whatever or this person okay because i feel like with the two of swords it's like feeling blocked but also like not seeing a future or not seeing what's in front of you because obviously this person is blindfolded so i feel like they won't really recognize the opportunity uh with you in the first place i feel like things will take slower uh to, like this person will take a bit slowly slower to warm up and to open up um yeah because the emperor energy is not so romantic yeah like this person is not that romantic type this person is um can can come across a bit more cold but it's just that um like emotionally speaking they are not really like that person that's uh talking sweet words or um showing maybe romantic gestures as affection they are more affectionate through their protection through their support that they show you um and also they are more of a rational person um someone that is more logical and and paying attention to the more practical aspects okay and i feel like you're going to get this sense that um it's like you're, you're, it's really hard to reach them um and i feel like the communication is going to be a bit stiff you know i feel like in the in the first part uh it's going to be a time of learning and growing okay because uh why did i say that maybe you got out of a connection or this person got out of a connection because we have the world i want to make that clear okay because i kind of left the that sentence half okay and i feel like we you know with the with the world card is like a, a cycle has ended in a natural way it wasn't meant to happen anymore and a new one is beginning so with the world i feel like this is a cycle that's meant to happen it's something that you're meant to go through it's a marriage that you're meant to uh, or a person that you're meant to meet okay and it's part of your journey and there's a lot happening in here okay and maybe this card also can signify that this marriage will have a cycle okay where you learn and you grow and then the cycle is going to end and a new one is going to begin because i do see here a bit of more like less positive cards and then i see here like the last card is like a really good one so i feel like in the beginning yeah of of, of the marriage i feel like there's going to be a cycle of um 
feeling hard to reach this person um maybe they have like that avoidant type of attachment style um maybe you're more of if that's the gonna resonate maybe some of you are gonna be the anxious attachment style or even though it, that's not the case it's just that maybe you're really good at, or a like communication your feelings or is something that you really put an emphasis on and i feel like emotionally this person is just really close and you're gonna have times where you feel a bit trapped in the marriage which is obviously not a, a good thing but i do see it here and i and i need to say what i see and i also see with the five of swords that there's going to be some misunderstandings and miscommunications but this is a card of change uh someone is gonna um, like compromise right it's like not necessarily someone but like a compromise will be made and peace will be made and things will move on to something better onto a new chapter that's really really positive i see like victory okay so you as a couple will reach on the other side of that cycle victorious and you will move on um with passion and you you're really going to be into each other and really admiring each other and and proud i see proud energy in this card so you're going to be proud of where you where you manage to get uh as as a couple in how much you learn to learn about yourselves and grow and um yeah so it is something that you know it's meant to be but at the same time it's something that's meant to be because there's a lot of growth and stretch in and ev evolution that's happening within this uh, marriage and connection okay and maybe that's why you're gonna get this feeling that things are moving really really slow um and it's going to be a bit of time until you reach this place of bliss okay let's take a look at your oracle cards now pile number three and see what else we can get about who will you marry and about this marriage okay pile number three okay so we have the card higher power so with this one i sense that it is definitely clarified that this is a person that's been is sent by the universe it's something you're meant to is someone you meant to meet someone uh, you meant to be with in a type of connection that you meant to experience higher power is like obviously like the universe like a higher power whatever you you choose to believe in right and i feel like um this is the energy of something that is happening in divine plan and divine timing all right let's take a look at another one and see what else we have so we have two cards wow we have duality and we have agreement so in the beginning it's going to feel like you are so different and that you two are really different and like it's gonna feel like there's not union but it's like the opposite right duality and a marriage means a union right and duality means two separate people that sort of like don't feel united or don't feel like they are in union okay in like um managing to to be a, a one person or not necessarily like one person because obviously you're two individuals and that still remains after the marriage but like marriage means to like unite emotionally and being able to really get that sense of oneness and duality it represents that you're going to be different or you're going to have different opinions and there's going to be these misunderstandings but i feel like with the five of swords right there's exactly like this energy an agreement so you two will have an agreement you're going to talk things through you're going to reach a point where you're really going to reach an agreement within the marriage and you're going to be okay so in order to move forward this is what we have to do and i feel like this person will will make that compromise um and if you need to make a compromise you will make a compromise in order to meet in the middle and make this agreement in order to feel happier and make the connection evolve and go to the next phase obviously like with the coronation here or like uh, this flower crown 
I'm thinking about promotion or uh, when when you graduate university and that means like promoting this connection to the next level um, getting like graduating this cycle which is the lesson right like metaphorically speaking and moving forward like victorious and with everything that you learned right um, and applying everything and, and feeling fulfilled feeling like you won okay like you too won against the misunderstandings won against the the disagreements okay as a couple you're no longer going to be one against each other you're going to be together against the problem and once you're going to realize that um yeah like from these agreements you're going to reach agreement okay okay let's take a look now at another one and see what else we have for you so we have a retreat it's time to disconnect from the world i feel like um a huge thing will be going maybe like finding time to be just the two of you finding time to just um to focus on yourself to focus on the relationship and the future of this connection and being present with one another and really talking things through and i feel like that's going to really be beneficial for the two of you okay so re like disconnecting from the outside world disconnecting from your responsibilities from your everyday life that maybe puts a lot of pressure will put a lot of pressure and making sure you make time to spend with each other like quality time going maybe on a vacation going on a date uh making sure you disconnect from everything and be just you and them and talk things through and that's also going to really give you that sense that okay we want to be together we want to work for this uh we need to do something about it and it's going to create that uh circumstance where you you're able to see things like more clearly okay by not being in the in the middle of the storm right and retreat and spend time uh, together just you and them all right and let's see one more okay let's see for pound number three so we have two cards wow so we have the golden mirror one and it says self-absorbed uh, narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing so maybe in the beginning it's going to feel like this like you're dealing with uh maybe narcissist uh self-absorbed person yeah and the relationship will feel one-sided you i feel like maybe you're gonna get this feeling but once you're gonna talk things through i yeah like that's going to be to be your perspective but obviously uh it's important to talk things through because sometimes we get the sense that it's just one-sided but we don't realize that it's actually like the other person has just a different different perspective and they are seeing things a different way we also have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase yes healing the inner child growth so the within this marriage is going to be healing there's going to be growth evolution the relationship will evolve to the next phase and you're going to go through that cycle you're going to make that agreement things are going to get better and the relationship is going to evolve to the next phase okay so within this marriage is going to be healing that's why i'm saying that it's so important it's such a powerful connection right that's meant to happen and it's within the divine plan now let's see their star sign in a number that might be relevant and yeah like be a clarification in a sign for this connection we have sagittarius and we have number 11 wow 11 it's a gate right so it represents a, a gate that you're going to go through it's so crazy is the gate that you're going to go through once you revolve this connection once you're you're going to do this agreement in to to get this agreement yeah and go to the next level step through that gate in in transition into a new chapter wow beautiful and last but not least let's take a look at some initials for you pal number three okay i got one that fell down just a second all right got it we have an a let's see we have r we have i we have another a whoops we have an u 
we have an N, we have a V, we have another U, this one is an L, P, another N, G, J, C, oops, and D. All right, so this is all I have for you, my dear pal number three. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.